Demons kept Jason Booth out of the ring. It's good to see him back. Taking on Abdul Mugabal, originally from Syria, game little fighter who always tries to put on a show. Second round, round one. Second round, super bantamweight division. They're trying to uh, get Jason Booth down to mix in the bantamweight class, but they'll do it slowly. He's in the sky blue trunks up against uh, Abdul Mugurbal, a couple of years older at 30. He's in his 17th fight, Booth in number 30. Trying to use his strength there, Mugabal. Coming at eight, ten and a half to Booth's eight, seven and three quarters. Booth's still got a, a nice rhythm in there. Doesn't look like he's been out for as long. Obviously worked long and hard in the gym. The time was pretty good. And then he come back a few weeks ago at York Hall. They didn't get medical clearance in time as Mugabal tries to test Booth's body and resistance. Uh, he's had uh, about 10 months training for this fight since he returned to the gym in January. Solid single punches from Booth. Garbled's just starting to pick his work rate up. Never been stopped, Magabal. All uh, ten of his defeats have been on points. I think the idea is to give Booth the rounds and shed the rust. Doesn't look like he really needs to. Well, he'll still be better for this outing. Magabal making him work a little bit, but the skills are still there. Nice with the jab. Some very good wins in his prime over the likes of Ian Napper down at uh, Bethnal Green. And the night that he, he won the British and Commonwealth Grounds against Keith Knox. Fantastic he looked then. One or two were tipping him uh, to go all the way. He was world rated at one stage. That's right, he put on some good performances, exciting non stop fighter. Cameos, he's showing some of those old skills, doing different things, looking for the left hook, then going back to his boxing. Always has thrown that shot well, the left hook, Jason Booth. Come on. Yeah, very comfortable ring return at the moment for Booth. Six minutes left. Jason Booth, surely uh, winning every round here against uh, Abdul Mugabal. Look at this, really planting his feet now, Booth. Trying to get power into the punches, and Mugabal just felt a couple of those. Well, it'll be good if he can get a stoppage victory here. Nobody's double garbled so far and I think that would do wonders for his confidence absolutely huge boost there one senses he might be going for this Jason Booth certainly loading up The problem with Garble's got is uh, he's only got one knockout win on the slate. So we're not blessed with, with big power. Booth's got ten. A, a spiteful puncher. Yes, he's pretty hurtful with his punches. But I think that's the reason they took this match. They didn't want to put him in early with anybody who you know, carries a punch. Three of his 
four defeats, booed on points, the other it's a European title shot when he lost in eight rounds, it was a technical decision. And, uh, legitimately being stopped. Really on the floor, I think, as well, Booth. Good chin. This is all strong and gutsy. But he's got the boxing skills as well, and that one, that's what makes a good fighter. He can change style in there. He won an ABC and ABA youth titles. On national schools too in 1994. 80 amateur bouts in seven years Booth had. He's been fighting a long time. You still see the class. Good work with the uppercuts inside from Booth. Yeah, they've obviously got him into excellent shape, Tony Harris and Jimmy Gill. Credit to them for nursing Booth back. Well, it's all gone well in the first five for Jason Booth. Looking for this uh, very important comeback win. Both from a mental and physical point of view. I suppose it's always important, Glenn, to get in there. The talking's over, you've got to do it. And he's done it tonight. Yes, that's the that's the hard part, getting in there and then bringing it all out. And you know he's done that quite well. Again, you can see a it. bit of rust, but as quite frankly, I expected to see more. Still quite sharp. Still a lot of the moves still there. Work rate hasn't been bad. Told us he craved the cameras, the limelight again as well. But he. Uh, Leaves us financially too for his family. God. Done really well to pull his life around, Jason Booth. Deserves huge credit for coming back. Nice single shot and then a, a good three punch combination. And I think just by the body language, he might have actually enjoyed being back in there. Decent defense, just moving the, the head well. Yeah, he arrived at the way in a couple of hours early last night, Jason Booth. We had a good chat and he was sort of shadow boxing through it. I think he, he just wanted to get out there and perform. And he's uh, done really well, Glenn, here. Again, 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 again. Come on, again. Come on, keep working, keep working. Trouble landing a number cut in there. He starts to, to work now. But all the, the good work in this contest has come from Jason Booth. He's looked pretty comfortable. And again, says Chris Astin. He's trying. Abdul Mugabe doesn't really possess the dynamite. You don't sense to do this. Booth may be catching up with him a little now in the last 40 seconds. Great step back, step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. just trying to the pace as Chris Aston shouts at him. He's staring another Come defeat on. in the face, work, work. Abdul Mugabe. Hard life. Being a journeyman in uh, difficult matches. <laughs> uh, for Jason Booth. Well, I should think one of the most satisfying wins of his whole boxing career. The decade of it, when Howard Fosser goes to raise his hand. There's Nicky. He was on his feet throughout. And uh, proud of his brother, Jason. Look at that, almost 500 punches thrown. 
plenty landed, good success, good night, Glenn. Yes, I think that showed that he was pretty sharp, he did work well in the gym, he, you know, and uh, he still got something there. Let's see where the story goes, but welcome back, Jason Booth. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has scored the contest. Abdul Magabal, 55 points. Jason Booth, 59 points. The winner, Jason Booth. Two years, I can definitely tell. I, I got like the timing one there, my combinations. But I enjoyed the first. I enjoyed that because it was hard, and it, I've got, I've got like, I've got to tune up a bit more. It's been a long time coming. You've had your difficulties out of the ring. What's what's made you come back and get the discipline to go again? I needed that um, fire in my belly again, where I needed to be determined. Thanks to my Tony trainer and Jimmy Gill, they got found me in the gutter, and, and it took me eight months. Stayed with me every day, helped me out, talked to me, and now I'm in the ring. Eight months, I'm in the ring. So talking next year, I'll be ready for titles. We're working hard now. This is my first step back, and it wasn't easy. I was expecting a little easy one, but. I got shown that there's tough kids out there, and I'm I'm ready for. I'm going to get better than this, yeah. Beforehand, you were very excited about being yeah. back in there. Yes, that uh, was the what, yeah. what was it like just that first sort of couple of rounds after two years? I felt terrible. <laughs> I thought I'm going to get telling off. In we the didn't rounds. think you were that bad. I wasn't that bad, but I want connecting with the shots. I want feeling it. I was missing with my uppercuts. So I was telegraphing. I know all my mistakes I did in there, but I've, I survived it. Then I was. Can you become a champion all over again? Oh, well, it takes all the card on all night, Odin, if I had to.